will play one more time on April the 13th at the United Center in Chicago. Season series one and one are underway. At 22, a season's high against the Boston Celtics about a week ago. Here is Michael Jordan in the paint, and he is fouled. And has averaged six free throws a game. The Pacers lead by four. Harper on the return pass backs it off. He goes for the three and misses the rebound by Rodman. Now, Kukoc is playing Smith straight up, and that is going to be the matchup tonight. That will open up perimeter play because you must double team. What a play by Michael Jordan as he winded his way down the lane through a sea of white shirts. And Michael Jordan, with his first points of the game, ties it at seven. The half-court toughness of Chicago. Defensively, and then their offensibility once Pippen is with them. There's the double team on Jordan, and he beats it and gets the foul as Antonio Davis helping out Reggie Miller on Michael Jordan, and they take a lot more than that. That's where the foul occurred. And a three-point play. Why you go away from him, and you can also play two-man with Reggie Miller and Smith. Here is Jordan up and under, and he scores. He went up and under. Mark Jackson with Reggie Miller on him, and we're seeing some spectacular maneuvers by Michael Jordan for the final shot, perhaps. Tony Kukoc, and Michael Jordan looks up. He's going to take that final shot and hit that shot. The basket counts at the buzzer as Michael Jordan silences the crowd with a basket at the buzzer. He has 10 points up. Dickie Simpkins, nowhere to go. Michael Jordan is open for three, and he wins the basket. Harper, and again, the Bulls are aggressive in dominating quarter. These two teams have the best records in the Eastern Conference of the NBA right now. Jordan, the double team, beats it, and is fouled. A turnaround on the baseline, and Michael Jordan has made more spectacular shots in his career, but never as many difficult shots as we've seen in this first game. But Rick Smith has to be the go-to again. Here is Jordan going up and gets the roll. He had Derek McKee in his face, and Jordan now with 17, 10 in the first quarter. But he's got to be able to keep Pittman, Pittman, Pittman busy. I like saying Pittman has a lot of heat. That opens up the floor considerably for the Pacers when he can hit the perimeter shot. Here is Jordan working in, and he reverses himself and leaves Reggie Miller at his wake. 19 for Michael. Transition on open floor. Again, posting up against Reggie Miller is Jordan. Jordan with a turnaround. Seven on the shot clock for Chicago. Jordan checks the clock. He's got Miller defending him. Here's Michael's shot. It's good. Three on one break for Indiana. Reggie Miller goes to Mullen for three. Yes. And here he goes. And Michael Jordan will stay in the backcourt. But the Mason Jordan posting up against Miller. Up and under. And he backs it in a huge boost. Under two minutes to go in the third. Jordan with a ball away. And the rebound by Scotty Pippen. Jordan driving the baseline this time. And Harper gives it back to Michael. And Michael hits. Oh, boy. And, and a foul. And a foul as well. Unbelievable. Four-point play. Early fourth did not tonight. No, Phil understands how big this game is tonight. And he's keeping the hot guys on the floor. Jordan's shot is good. 11 on the shot clock for the Bulls. Good coach guarded by Antonio Davis. Oh, Jordan coming in Jordan with a big basket. 33 for Michael Jordan and the Bulls up by three. But you're going to get two possessions. Jackson looking for Smiths. And oh, Jordan gets a hand yes. and a foul is called against the Indiana Pacers. A loose ball foul, but it was Michael Jordan who got a hand on it and Reggie Miller committing the foul. Indiana, two timeouts and 20. Michael Jordan with the ball. He is guarded by McKee, who commits the foul. Nine free throws. They're 10 of 19. Point lead. Michael Jordan makes good. The Chicago Bulls are going to uh, make a statement. We've heard that phrase a lot, but they made it tonight because the Bulls have won on Indiana's home floor to take a 2-1 series lead. Playoff teams jockeying for position. You guys made a major blow here today. Yeah, we did, right? We put some more space between them and us, and, uh, you know, we, we built some confidence in coming here and winning here on their floor, and, you know, I, I think that, that was a big statement from our standpoint. You know, it was a playoff atmosphere, and 
you know, luckily, uh, Reggie couldn't get going. He really had a tough time with his shots, and, you know, we were able to, you know, more or less to grind this one out. Had to be pleased with your defense, uh, I think, particularly tonight. Yeah, our defense kept pressure on him. Uh, you know, Tony surprisingly played Smith very well. He tried to front him and really didn't, he didn't know where the double team was coming from, and we kind of kept him off balance. He never really got comfortable, and... You know, that was a great effort by our defense. You showed us a few new tricks running that baseline and doing a few little interesting things. Is that some, some new stuff you've been pulling out of your bag? Whatever it takes to win. You know, I got a lot of things in my bag. I don't know when it's coming out, but whatever it takes to win, that's all that counts. All right. I guess, uh, is there any other goals you need to accomplish toward the end of this last uh, this last month? Oh, we just got to keep getting our uh, tools sharpened, and, you know, we just got to finish off the season right and go into the playoffs with a lot of confidence and healthy, most important. All right. Thank you very much, Michael.